So what are we going to be talking about on the show today? I'm going to tell you. Take a seat. We're going to kick things off talking about the fact that today we had a very interesting session with the Honorable Minister for Art, Culture and Creative Economy, Hanatsu Musawa, where she gave a very detailed explanation and expose on the plans to take our creative economy forward between now and the year 2027. Now, this was an elaborate presentation in every sector of the economy, from our infrastructure to our policy building and everything in between. We'll take a look at this story, listen a bit to what the minister had to say, and talk about the impact and importance of this and how we as creatives can be a part of it. Not forgetting the fact that it is a big, 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 big day uh, on the show today. I would also be getting having a couple of guests from the event. I now, again, the creative industry has had a field day. I'm going to start by saying that we've had a very productive day. Earlier today here in Lagos, Nigeria, the Minister of Arts, Culture and Creative Economy, Barista Hanatu, Musa Masawa, unveiled what I would call a roadmap to 2027 and how we can boost the creative economy. Now, this was a really interesting meet, and I'll tell you why. For the creative industry in Nigeria, oftentimes we've been left to do a lot of things by ourselves where you have private sector individuals choosing to invest in the creative economy. You know why? The commodity or the product of the creative industry is talent. And talent is an individual's intellectual property. So you cannot buy it, you cannot sell it, unless, of course, you're doing it for your benefit. But now we see a new type of intervention that's 100% going to take the industry even forward at a time where there is so much focus on what we have from our music to our fashion, to our films, to our food, our tourism. We're seeing a moment where there were, we're getting some level of government intervention through the ministry of the art, culture, and creative economy's plan to take the industry forward. Now, this roadmap touched in several points, including infrastructure. I remember when we had Love Damini, uh, Burna Boy's tour, and Lagos was his last stop. One of the things Burna Boy said that I felt was the biggest slap on our faces as an industry was, yo, Lagos, I'm sorry, guys. I want to perform, but you guys are not ready for me. I was like, what? It really worked like, you know, it was such a horrible show for him. He said, we don't have the infrastructure to carry a proper show. And I've had several people ask, well, how do we get this infrastructure? It's a lot to put in. But guess what? This roadmap includes several plans to build arenas, not just for concerts, but just to have a space of our own. Creatives, creative hubs are there. Skills. How do we build the necessary skills to carry these individual projects? And not forgetting policies very important, not just, again, for film, not just for movies, but for the entire creative industry and creatives as well. Let's take a little bit of that session, which, of course, will take a moment to really break down on the show. And let's take you through basically what the minister had to say. When I came into this job, rather than jump into it, I decided to bring in the most cerebral companies, best minds in the world, to see how we can structure it in a way, as my principal advisor mentioned earlier on, using benchmark countries, it was very important for us to do a deep dive and to see how we can really localize it. And being part of the economic team, I had um, a couple of uh, targets to try to bring economic expansion, to try to bring cultural expansion, and to see what we can do for our youth to create jobs and to open up the space, to use our creativity, our expression to reposition Nigeria. So can we have the slides, please? So working with the likes of BCG and EY and McKinsey, they did a proper deep dive. Based on this deep dive, where they were able to use benchmark countries to come up with a proper strategy and a framework for us, we came up with an eight-point agenda. This eight-point agenda was a holistic look as to how best we can enhance growth within this sector. We want to establish the framework, facilitate investment, and commercialize the creativity and the industry itself. So our eight-point agenda, as you can see, has the Nigeria Destination 2030, which many of you have heard of. I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. Skills development is key. There is a juices of creativity all over Nigeria. 
One thing you can say about Nigeria is every nook and cranny that you go in Nigeria, you find people oozing with creativity, but they just don't have the skill, the capacity building to be able to give them the proper, the proper training to be able to sort of meet those global standards. So we have skills development.